So we're going to be opening up Photoshop again, but this time we are going to create a sandwich using photos. So we are going to go to File, New. Again, a new document will come up. Um, you want to do your first name, last name, and sandwich. This is how you guys will be saving each and every time. Put your first name, your last name, sandwich. Under your preset details, you're going to do inches. Let's do seven by five again. And always 300 resolutions with RGB color and your white background, and then you're going to hit create. So we are now going to create a sandwich doing the same thing we did for our burger um, with a bird's eye view. So we are going to go to two different types of websites. So we have one, it is unsplash.com. And then two, there's also something called pexels.com. They're very similar in websites. They are stock photos, free, high resolution photos that anyone can pretty much take. These are photographers that are willing to give you guys these photos. You guys can search here. So let's search for slice of bread. And now you're going to go and look for a slice of bread that you want to create. So I found this one. What you're going to do is click on it, right click, save image as and you're going to save it in your H drive. So your H drive may be in this PC if you double click on that and then go into H drive. That's your student ID. You want to save all of your images in there. Um, but this is where I'm going to save it. So I'm just going to rename it bread. Make sure it's a JPEG and then hit save. You'll notice it downloaded. And then if you go back to your Photoshop, you can bring that in two ways you can bring in a photo. You can go to file, open, and then bring in that image, or you can open up your folder, find that image, and just drag it into Photoshop. I like it using this way because it doesn't, um, it doesn't mess with my canvas. So I would practice doing that. So I want to go over some of these tools. This is your move tool. And if you hover over it, it will actually give you an example on what that tool does. And this basically moves your image. This is a rectangular marquee tool. All of these kind of serve the same purpose. Um, you'll tend to use this quick selection tool or this magic wand tool a lot in this tutorial. Um, we are going to go with this quick selection tool. So if you don't see that, you want to click and hold down. You'll notice that these come up. And we're going to use the quick selection tool to quickly select our bread. And you'll notice that it also selected the part of the hand. And that's because it the quick selection tool basically tries to quick select some things that are similar in color. And that's why I did that. And that's totally fine. We can always erase it. So if we want to put this bread on a new layer, we don't want the background. The hot key for that will be Control J. Once you hit Control J, you'll notice that a new layer had been created. And if I hide this bread layer, you'll notice that this spread is on its own new layer. So you can always hide layers by using and pressing the sidebar. So now we are going to, let's erase this hand in between my sandwich breads. So we're going to my eraser tool, or you can press E, and that is your hotkey for that. We can use our brackets 
it's going to be acting just like a brush tool. And we can start erasing what we don't want. So now you're going to start researching and saving any images that you want to save. So whatever ingredients that you want to put in your sandwich, you're going to save it in your H drive into a folder. And you'll notice for me, I have a folder under sandwich tutorial. I have all my ingredients. And now what I can do is just drag and drop my ingredients into my canvas. So now we're going to do the same thing we did for the bread and just take out the background and making each ingredient into a layer. So I'm going to hide my original layer of lettuce. And now on my layer two, I'm going to create this lettuce without the background. And the original photos you can delete. So to delete layers, you just drag and drop into the trash can. And so now I have my lettuce layer, but it is way too big. So what we're going to do now is we are going to do Control T. And that just means transform. So now you can make it bigger and smaller using the corners. And if you hold down shift, you can kind of manipulate it how you want it. But I'm going to bring up my bread layer again. Make sure you are naming your layers. And now I have my lettuce on top of my bread. Now you want to do this with all of your ingredients. So you'll notice if I bring my egg layer down, it will be underneath the tomato. If I bring it down again, it will be underneath my lettuce. So depending on where your layers are is really important. Also, if you want to duplicate an ingredient, you can also use Control J to duplicate it. So if I duplicate my tomato, I'm on my tomato layer. I hit Control J. I can make another copy of tomato. And now I have two. Another little um, trick that you can do is change the color, the contrast, um, the levels of each image. So let's say, I'm just going to delete this one. Let's say I feel like my lettuce is a little too bright. Then what I can do is go to Image Adjustments and mess with all of these options. So there's brightness and contrast, levels, curves, exposure, um, color balance. Um, these are all options that you can do. We're just going to mess with the brightness and contrast for now. And those are things that you guys can do on your own. So you can decrease or increase your brightness and then slightly mess with also your contrast.